Tell you what, it's effort setting up cameras. I hope you all appreciate the work that us YouTubers go to. <laughs> it does take a while, keep messing around, moving cameras. But, it's fun. It's why we do it. Now look, throughout this video my hands are going to be filthy I'm afraid. So just, I'm not a stig. <laughs> I've just been doing a mucky job. Anyway, very exciting day today. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. I'm probably going to be well hyped up for this video, but this is something that I've wanted for so long. And it's in this box. Very excited about this. Okay, so for this video, I'm working with Leisure Vehicle Services who have provided this for me, which is, oh man, I've wanted this for years. Three, well, I've been probably started my channel probably three years ago 2017 beginning of 2017 I started my channel and I've wanted one ever since and yes you probably know already from the thumbnail and the title of the video but this is a swivel base for the front chair now I've wanted this for so long because I'm a, I'm a fan of having the open cab I know a lot of people uh, block off their bulkhead uh, for for warmth, for security reasons. I like the fact that it's uh, open. I like to have all the glass, all the light coming in here. Um, and yes, it isn't as secure. And uh, yes, you do lose a lot of heat through all the, the, you know, through the cab. But when you're dealing with such a small space, and despite the fact that this is a massive van, it is still a small space. So you want it to be as open as possible or feel as open as possible. So I like to have, um, I like to have an open cab and I like to be able to walk in and out, get to the driver's seat and I don't actually come in and out through the slide door anymore unless I'm camping in a way but I always get into here just from the passenger door usually. So I like to be able to walk in and out and you can get, get to the steering, get to the driver's seat in an emergency to drive off really quickly but yeah, it does have its flaws but... So I've been wanting to swivel this passenger seat for so long now because as soon as you do that, it opens up that whole corner and you can sit there, look back at the van, admire your work, you know, eat dinner, work off the table, enjoy all the views that you inevitably stop at when you go camping. So, so without further ado, let's get into this video. Oh man, this looks, this looks the nuts. This looks so heavy duty. <laughs> okay. Ooh, right then. What a beauty, huh? What a beauty. So yeah, this is the seat that I'm gonna swivel. Uh, I thought about years ago swiveling that, but one, the handbrake's in the way, you've got a massively tall handbrake, so you wouldn't be able to swivel the seat, even when the handbrake's down you can't do it. And also, my sofa's so close to this, so, I mean it might, be, it might have been nice to s swivel it halfway, so you could face it that way, uh, and then you could sit there and there, you know, look at facing each other with a table in the middle, so anyway, for now, so happy and excited about uh, getting the swivel base on, so here we go. Be 
easy to get that out. I think I've done it now though. Because they, the bolts, they're all Allen key sort of in this, so I'm gonna do away with that. I'm gonna do with that, do away with that. So yeah, I think I'm there now. These are the bolts that they use. Where are you? Probably not going to focus on that, but they're tiny. With Allen key heads. Yeah, I'm getting rid of them. Right, moment of truth. See if this fits. I'm guessing it only goes one way up. Yep. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. It's almost like it was made for it. Look at that. Okay, so you pull the lever and you pivot it, which then shows you your mounting holes. Let me just do a bit more. So you swivel the base so you can access all the holes to mount it. Now I'm going to need more bolts, aren't I? I think it's like six bolts. Just bolt this down to the chair frame and then six bolts again to mount the chair to this. I've got two, two bolts in either corner just so I can test it out, make sure that this can still swivel over the top of these uh, bolt heads. Uh, I'm also going to get a washer. If I have enough clearance between here and the other side of here, then I'll put a washer on there as well just to be safe. Oh, oh that's some serious springage. So you can go both ways with this, but the other way you're going to want to. So this is kind of clever, these nuts, which are nylon nuts, they sit nice, really tight in this channel so that they, they don't spin, so you can put a bolt in from the underside. Well actually that took me quite a long time, only because I didn't have the, the correct bolts. And one of them I just couldn't get out. I couldn't get one of them bolts out. So I had to drill it out. So yeah. <laughs> In theory, if you had the right bolts, it's a 10-15 minute job. That's it. Now, shall I show you it working? I'm going to Wales soon. Me and the wife are going to Wales soon uh, for a week in Snowdonia. So I'll, I'll properly test it out when you know we go away together. So... Uh, Let's have a go, shall we? So in order to in order to spin it around you have to sit the chair, the back of the chair up. And then you can pull the lever. Where is it? And then I can put the back that the back rest back. <sighs> How amazing is that? <laughs> I've just wanted to do that for so long. Wanted to do that for so long. Because I've now just gained about two and a half foot, three foot. Like here, all this space here is now open. And it's extra seating. So uh, a huge sofa that I've got. You can probably get four or five people on there if you squished them all in. Look at this now. Ha <laughs>
that's pretty cool with it and now you can put the table like here out the way so everyone can sit on the sofa oh man so so cool There you go, one swivel base. So what I'm going to do now is click my fingers and we're going to be two weeks into the future. I'll see you in Wales. And we're in Wales. Don't believe me? <laughs> There's a little sneak peek because there is a uh, there is a vlog if you want to see me and my wife travel Snowdonia then you have to watch that but I thought what well, well, no better place no better time to test out the swivel base and um, we are now on sort of day day three or four night three or four can't remember which one two three four. I still can't remember which anyway this is our spot for the evening you probably can't see it on, on this camera, but amazing sunset happening over there, over the mountains, and there's snow-capped mountains. But anyway, let's get back to the swivel base. It's amazing. What a game changer. Oh, we love it. It's the very first thing we do. The very first thing we do when we get to a spot is spin that chair around, and I'll show you now all the different positions that we have it in. And oh, it's just incredibly useful. So let's go. Let's show you what we, how, how we do that. gonna place the camera here magic it floats so yeah like I say it's the, <laughs> like I say the first thing that we do when we park up is pretty much swivel spin this chair in it be yeah so instantly it just opens this whole corner look what we can do now do with the table so now the table can come right over here. I think Becca's going to do some studying in a minute, so she might want to sit over here with the table. So you can have the table here. Becca and I actually eat now. We actually eat in this position. I sit here, she sits there, and we <laughs> we eat like that. I didn't think that would happen. I thought that we would both eat on the sofa over there, but this seems to be like quite comfy. I don't know about you. Yeah? Mm. But uh, so you can have it next to the kitchen, and you can have the table over there. So this is another position I, I sit in. I put my feet up on the driver's seat and I, if the views are over there, I can enjoy the views over there. Beauty of having this table leg again. So this swivel base turns both ways, so you can actually... Let me try this position out. I haven't tried this position yet. <laughs> you can actually... I don't know how... You, you can actually sit like this, enjoy the views. Oh, I'm sure Becca would agree. Winter is not the time to do it because it is flipping cold out there. So yeah, absolutely love this swivel base. It, it's, you just must have it. If you've got an open cab like this, you just must have it. I would love to have one on that seat, but I don't know if I could get that to work with the handbrake being so close, etc. but. Yeah, you need to have, need to have a swivel base, everybody. How's that for a seating position? <laughs> so there we go, guys. Back from holiday now. And yeah, what, what a good test it was for this swivel base. Every time I go away in this van, I will be. It's the first thing I'll do. I'll use it every single time I go away in the van. And oh, what a difference! It's amazing. It really opens up the van so so much, and I can't wait to start going to all my all the meets that I go to, so I can get everybody into the van in the evening. We've got a massive sofa over there and an extra seat here. We can all. It's quite a social van, quite an open van, and I'm really looking forward to going to some meets now to try it out and get a load of friends in here, etc. So, I think it comes across in that video that I really like this swivel base. I want to say a huge thank you to Leisure Vehicle Services for providing this swivel base for me. Now, you guys, 
where can you get your own swivel base from? So if you scroll down to the video description of this video, uh, I think you can access it on a mobile phone by hitting the little downward arrow. You hit a little down arrow, it drops down a menu. Or if you're watching it on a PC, then below this video, you'll see a little show more button, hit that. So in the video description down below, it will be a link for Leisure Vehicle Services. Once you click on that, what you're looking for is a where to buy tab. Uh, you, I think you can find it if you just scroll down or if you hit the little navigation tool uh, in the corner, it will drop down another menu and you can click where to buy. And then I believe there is a map so you can click on your local area and find your local distributors of these swivel bases. So that is how you find your own swivel base. Check them out. I highly recommend this swivel base. Um, I love it. I love it so much. And again, thank you for Leisure Vehicle Services. Okay. Please hit that thumbs up button, everybody, and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got some very, very exciting stuff coming up soon, so you don't want to miss any videos. So hit that little notification bell as well, so you get a message every time I upload. All right, thank you so much, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.